simple tricks to eating less crap. Um, so I'm very much, I, I feel like I call myself more of a health coach than I do a personal trainer because I really truly believe that it's more about the emotional connection to food and uh, learning coping skills. So one trick that I have taught a lot of my clients is making sure that you have all of your meals planned. And I've said this on numerous occasions, but even your dinner. So even if you know that you're going to be home on time to eat dinner, you want to have it prepped ahead of time and you want to have it with you. So always make sure you have your little bag from Target, AKA Target, and your, you have your dinner with you. Let's just say if you're supposed to be home by five o'clock and there's a horrible, unfortunate car accident or you get stuck or your boss asks you to stay later, now you're gonna go too long and then you're gonna be starving and then you're gonna go home and you're gonna wanna either binge or just eat the quickest thing. And if you have your food with you and you are stuck in traffic, you don't have to worry about waiting too long. Let's just say if you weren't going to binge when you got home or you did have your dinner ready already when you got home, but there's now too many hours because you had to stay at work or unfortunately there was an accident. So that's one trick to making sure that you don't eat bad. Um, always having a game plan. Another really good trick, um, I teach people about, like all of our clients, they have to send us a food log and they send it to us every single night. There's something about the psychology of checking out of eating and into accountability where they send their food logs. So n having your food prepared and separated, not eating out of the pan and not even knowing what you're eating, which obviously they have to know if they're going to be logging it, but, um, but you want to do something right after. So one of the things that I learned as a coping skill after my depression and my eating disorder and my nervous breakdown and everything, and I'm very open about my past, um, is I had to do something. Like if I was going to eat dinner, because all of us just want to keep going, like we, we also eat too fast, we don't chew our food enough, and then we eat, our, eat too much, and then we're like totally over full. Um, but something to, what you want to do is you want to have a game plan. So before, and I've done a video out at a restaurant, and I talk about how restaurants they cook too many meat, they, they cook too many servings. So before you even put your food, your fork in, because of that, you're not going to be able to stop thing. You want to have them bring a to-go thing. So you, before you even start eating it, you put half of it away. But a really good trick, um, coping skill for not overeating or eating bad food or whatever at night is to have a game plan for right after. So what I mean by that is specifically, I had a mother and daughter that were living together and they were both clients of mine. And what I would do is I would make them, yes, I know they're gonna wanna do the dishes, but I would make them every day right after they were done eating, they would go and take a walk. Or I had another single um, woman that you know had nobody to go like go go for a walk with and go chat with she went on the computer and would play solitaire um, then I had somebody else that had a dog and right after dinner they would go and take the dog for the walk that was the game plan before they even started eating they knew what they were gonna do right after then they came home me one of the things that I had to do was I had to eat in a different environment so instead of eating in my kitchen which is what normal people do I had to like sit on my porch and eat um, or sit in front of my house and then I had to directly go straight from my eating on the porch into the house go take a shower and then you're out of you're out of the whole like eating thing and then psychologically it's you're you're less likely to go and either continue eating more or binge or whatnot so um, that that's a good coping mechanisms, psychological, all that other stuff to helping you stay away from crap. And then kind of to, you know, plug my www.missfitclothing.com shirt, M-I-S-S-F-I-T-C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G, uh, train like a train like a king, look like a queen, I think it says. Um, but basically, if you stop eating like crap and eat more 
phenomenal and consistent and psychologically you're feeling better and you're not so obsessed about food and yada 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 you can train and be up there with those guys and be training and be strong and be pushing more weight than pound for pound than some of the guys in the gym or if you don't want that you just want to be stronger for you like ultimately that's what it's all about you can't get physically stronger if you're not fueling your body I've done lots and lots of videos on um, the four components of fitness good resistance training with heavy enough weight women stop being afraid um, quality cardio wearing your heart rate monitor making sure you're in your target heart rate zones we did a video on that um, good nutrition and consistently good not a little cheat in the middle of the week and psychological and doing your positive affirmations every day and eating good and you know staying positive and believing that you can do this so I mean overall it's all of those so there are some tricks to that and then finding you know finding what your fire is I'm a very big believer in the four agreements so this turned out to be a little bit more of a motivational thing but I mean that's really what it all is it's all about that emotional connection to food because everybody and anybody 99.9% .9 of the people that come to us have that emotional connection to food and they need to learn those coping skills so that is the first thing um, so I hope that those tricks help I hope you try them and it works and you're like Jesus Jen you're a genius and then you have gotten the memo now. I am a genius. So um, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. You try it. And then leave a comment afterwards and see if it helped. So thank you. Um, and I do this all because I really want you guys to all feel better. Feel better. And then look better.